Hey folks, this is Sherry with JBF and I'm going to do a quick Supplies 101. These are the things you want to have on hand when you're tagging for JBF. Um, first, you'll want hangers for your clothes um, and all things get hung. Make sure your um, hanger looks like a question mark. Put your clothes on this way. That way when they get hung on the rack, they will um, um, people will be able to see them clearly and um, safety pins in different sizes. I've got small safety pins. I've got large safety pins. It all depends on the hangers you have. A nice, a good pair of scissors. This is a cardstock. Make sure you're doing all your tags on cardstock. Regular stock, regular paper rips, and then the tags can fall off, and that's not a good thing. I always have some ribbon around to tie um, sets of books together. Um, I have a tagging gun. I prefer to use a tagging gun, but when you use a tagging gun, um, please don't put it directly through the cloth on the um, um, on the garment. It will leave a hole. Put it through the tag on the garment or on a, the inside seam where it can't leave a hole. And I believe we do have a tagging with a tagging gun um, video. If you want to take a look at that, look at the pinned videos in the top of this group. Um, I always have blue tape. Blue tape is great for taping tags to books and games. They do not um, rip the face of the, of the book or the face of the game off when the tag is removed. This is uh, packing tape. Do not use this on books and games. It will rip the um, it will rip the box or the book and you don't want to you don't want to do that. This is great for um, closing bags. And I always keep a couple bags. I've got quart size bags. I've got large bags. These are great for like, small numbers of plastic uh, toys. They're also great for if you've got something big like a dollhouse that's got parts, you can put them in here, tape this shut, then poke a hole and use a zip tie to zip tie this to the dollhouse or to the larger item. And I always keep lots of different kinds of zip ties. I've got small ones to put shoes together, medium sized ones, large ones, depending on what you need to put together. Um, and um, what else? I think that's about it um, for this. We've got lots of videos in the um, pinned section of the consigner group, so please take a look. Uh, if you need to buy a, con a, a tagging gun, they usually come in a package that looks like this with barbs and extra um, needles. Um, they're not very expensive. You should be able to get one for under $20, usually under 15, and they're great. Um, but again, don't put holes in your garments using them. Um, when you do pin your garments, make sure you put that on the, um, um, the right side of the garment um, or in um, on a tag so that those don't get lost and um, and they're easy to find when you get to the um, checkout counter with them. So that's my quickie video on different types of things you need for tagging to get started. Hope that helps. Leave any questions below.